So should you purchase a house in 2022 going into 223? The answer is a big fat yes. So never take the advice of a realtor. And I bet you didn't know this, but realtors are not supposed to give advice. They can tell you stats. They can give you, you know, examples of what they're doing. They can share with you things that they find is beneficial, but they can't tell you to go buy a house or not to buy a house or they can't do any of that. So take this message with a grain of salt. I am a realtor, as you all know, but I'm usually right. Go ask my husband. Okay, everyone's financial position is different, but if you have the means to purchase a home, you can never time the market. Back in 2008, people who bought top of the market, guess what? They're sitting really pretty right now. And I always ask my clients when they're kind of waffling on whether or not they should purchase a house in this marketplace, I ask this question, which is, in 10 years, do you think this property will be worth more money than it is today? And when I ask that question, there hasn't been one client of mine who's ever said no. So understand that when you're buying into the market, it's an investment. You're gonna have ups, you're gonna have downs, but you gotta get back in that market. It's really important for long-term wealth creation. So don't take it from me. Let's hear what Gay Croatian from the National Association of Realtors, that's their senior economist, and this is what they have to say. Home buyers who purchase a home today are still likely to see rising property values and increased home equity. That's because supply is relatively low compared to buyer demand, so home prices are likely to keep rising, although at a slower pace. So let's talk about the benefits of home ownership. The first one that comes to mind is when you have increased values, that creates equity. And when you're renting, guess what? You get nothing. You're just throwing that money down the drain. Okay, the second thing that comes to mind is if you have a 30-year fixed mortgage rate, you have a fixed payment. Now, when you're renting, guess what? Your rent can go up, it's all over the place, and no matter what, you're not getting any return on your investment, otherwise known as ROI. Some other benefits are you get to customize your own home. Now, when you're renting, you don't get to customize it. You gotta get landlord approval, and more than likely, they're gonna say no. The other thing you can do is you can always take a HELOC, a home equity line of credit. So when you get equity, you can use your home as a finance tool, which is very, very beneficial. Also, you can have your property taxes. There's a deduction for your interest deduction on your property taxes. So there's a lot of benefits that you don't get if you're renting. Okay, so let's talk about the disadvantages. Now, the first one that comes to mind is you're a buyer, you're gonna go buy a property, you're top of market, and all of a sudden the market crashes and now your house is not worth what you once purchased for it. So to combat that idea, you have to realize that when you purchase a property, it's a long-term investment. This isn't you know, something that you're looking at on the stock market. It's a long-term investment. And by the way, even if you're investing in the stock market, I always, always recommend hold your, your, your investments. Don't panic, don't sell. So if you're investing in a property and you're barely making ends meet, probably not a good time to buy. But if you do have that financial strength, I'm highly gonna recommend that you do so. But once again, don't trust a realtor. Go seek wise counsel, someone that's smarter than me. Okay, another disadvantage that might occur if you purchase a house now is that, you know, you could rent and then you could jump in when the market crashes and you can jump in and get all these houses at a discount. In fact, you could probably own five of them, right? So we all have memories of 2008, 2009, where the houses were significantly on sale, okay? And we all wish we would have bought a bunch of them, maybe five or six or 10, right? And we're gonna be rich. And that's what America's backbone is, is it's real estate. So you're potentially, you know, you're, you're gonna be limited if you buy a house now, and then you look back and you're gonna say, wow, I wish I could have bought all these houses for sale. Okay, so the probability of that happening is very, very minute. And you have to realize that in 2009, housing inventory, at least in Orange County, was 16,000 homes on the market at one time. We're at 4,000 homes on the market in Orange County. So that would mean the inventory would have to skyrocket, which is not happening right now. So to time the market, even if it's in the stock market or the housing market, I mean, no one has the perfect crystal ball. So if you do have interest in home ownership, renting, if you do the math of how long am I going to rent and wait for the housing market to crash, that's a pretty substantial amount of money that you could be using as a down payment and getting some tax benefits for doing it and increasing your equity. Okay, I want you to look at this median sales prices of houses since 1965. Now you'll start seeing there's some dip downs, but overall it's an upward trajectory. 
And not only, you know, really, I'm gonna say, supports my idea that housing prices are on the rise. With inflation increasing, we all know that housing are gonna have to appreciate with it. Everything that we see around us is appreciating. Jump in the market. You're gonna thank me later for doing so. So the interest rates are really high right now. I'm not gonna lie, they are. 6%-ish, plus or minus. And you know, if you're gonna buy a house now, your rate's gonna be a little bit higher. But if the rates go down, guess what? The market is also fueled. So if the rates go down to 4.25%, which Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac made the forecast that in 2023, those rates are gonna be down at 4.25-ish, then you're gonna be met with a bunch of buyers who are gonna be jumping in the market the same time that you're gonna be jumping in the market. And now we got bidding wars and we got prices escalating again. We've all went through that here in the last two years. So if you buy right now, guess what? You can always refinance when those rates go down. And guess what? You're not met with a bunch of buyers that are trying to get the property that you're looking at. So I'm gonna give you a little advice. Actually, I'm gonna pass on a little advice that one of my advisors gave me. And that was buy the best property you can find in the best area with the best schools. So I see a lot of people investing out in areas where their house is bigger and they have more land, but the properties that are in the better locations with the better schools that are closer to the ocean or better for commuting are always going to appreciate more in value than those that are, we'll just say, in a less desirable area. So maybe it's a smaller house, you know, maybe not, maybe it's not your ideal property, but if this is your first investment, you know, try to invest wisely, location, location, location. Okay, that's it for me today. If you had any value out of this uh, video, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.